today's um, auspicious uh, op-ed. So here's some words for everyone. It would appear that all systems we've been forced to interact with were developed uh, with an inherent disdain for everything I relate to being an ordinary, everyday human being, having uh, varying preferences to conditioning us into humanoid automations, which appears to have led to the destruction of the human condition across many spectrums. I think it's time for us to have a little talk about absurdly envious wealth mongers. Have you really paid attention and studied these supposedly savvy, cunning types? More importantly, have you ever asked yourself why they're insatiable in regards to consumption and not an ounce happier for it, especially considering how much they consume? While these types of people think they know it all, it turns out that they literally fully rely on external validation and resources to feel any sense of meaning in life. They literally do not know how to internally regulate, evaluate, or analyze anything because they have been conditioned to only acknowledge permissible phenomenon starting at a very early age. This conditioning is a socio-emotional retardant intended to condition primary dependence and codependence in an effort of breaking the individual from self-determination and intuition. Now let us think of the types of people who would wish to place humanity into such a closed system, and the answer is quite simple. Narcissists. Narcissists are naturally drawn to this behavior. Narcissists breed narcissists along with their other broken counterparts that make up the mass of accepted society. While I find the values and beliefs of the professional managerial class abhorrent, dehumanizing, anti-human, radicalizing, and delusional, the masks they have painted on, the bribes, and the promises of prosperity appear to have lured in many more souls than if they could have possibly provided for. These Warriors of quite a disgusting status quo are the authorities, role models, and meddlers that are very hard to escape without living a very isolated, rustic life that few places still permit uh, such a, a literally peaceful existence. This class of people and the arm of the globalist machine most of us come into contact with regularly as they are our teachers, professors, doctors, policemen, politicians, lawyers, social workers, managers, administrators, and human resources uh, employees that uh, keep us under their neo-feudal rule in hopes of more bonuses and benefits from their overlords. These people have a college degree, make salary, and think they are somehow better and more deserving than the rest of us because they believe they somehow earned superiority when all men are created equal. These so-called productive members of society have not only hoarded a ton of wealth that they did not earn because they do not work for a living. During the little bit of activity they must carry out, they mostly boss people around at meetings they deem subordinate and send emails all day with an air of self-importance that could make you puke. The professional managerial class of workers also helps enable and encourage all of the millionaires and billionaires hoarding their wealth to continue the status quo in hopes they might be even lazier than they are now someday, hoping to live off interest and dividends once they've made it and accumulated enough capital to enter the investor or uh, rentier class. Let me tell you what, that is why we have vacant property everywhere that no one can rent or sell. That is why we have over-credentialized demands for jobs and services. It is also why our quality of living and goods is dropping. A bunch of overprivileged people decided they would invest in education and other endeavors with the intent of pushing the real work onto everyone else with no real or fair compensation to speak of, while they pocket everything they can get away with seizing and taking no responsibility for the conditions they created with such an irrational perspective. Because they're the only benefactor in their schemes, and they are holding all the wealth like uh, brandishing a weapon of mass deprivation, we need to fix this whole matter from the ground up regardless of their decrees. I think it is time we all think about how the wealthiest amongst us 
Yes, I'm talking about the middle class all the way up to the trillionaires who live on secret private islands, get paid large sums of money to uphold a system that is very bad for the vast majority, if not all of us, with absolutely no shame regarding the upholding and perpetuation of the systemic enslavement of mankind by the globalist technocracy and all dark forces. Oh, that was our show today.